What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Rivas Talk Sports. In today's video, I will be giving you my bold predictions for each NFC East team. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. So the first team that I will be discussing is the New York Giants, and my bold prediction is Brian Burns and Kevon Thibodeau would have at least 10 sacks each with a combined of 20 plus sacks. If you look at Brian Burns's last five seasons, he's had at least seven and a half sacks or more, which is pretty much in elite territory in that kind of production. And then when you look at Kevon Thibodeau, he had his first double, double digit sack this past season with 11 and a half. And I believe these two are going to eat up one-on-one -on -one opportunities against tackles having Dexter Lawrence in the trenches will also help create opportunities for Kevon Thibodeau and Brian Burns and let's say even if Dexter Lawrence is you know causing havoc in the interior side of things and Brian Burns and Kevon Thibodeau are crashing on the edges this may even give up a lot of sack opportunities to inside linebackers or safeties blitzing in now with Shane Bowen, he doesn't have a psycho type of blitz heavy defense like Winkendale, but I'm sure he'll be able to get creative and apply a lot of pass rush. In his first season as a defensive coordinator with the Tennessee Titans, they were top five in sacks per game, and I believe top five in sacks percentage per game. So I believe Shane Bowen is going to have these two elite pass rushers, having Dexter Lawrence. I mean, the Giants could potentially have a top 10 pass rush defense and probably have a top 10 sack kind of season but overall Brian Burns, Kevon Thibodeau, I will definitely put my money on each of them having at least 10 sacks each. Now the second team I will talk about is the Washington Commanders and my bold prediction is Jaden Daniels will have at least 4,000 plus total yards. He is going to be in a um, air raid kind of style offense with Cliff Kingsbury. Um, if you saw what Cliff Kingsbury did at Arizona, with the Arizona Cardinals and Kyler Murray, Kyler Murray had a phenomenal rookie season. Yes, they had Larry Fitzgerald, but I believe Jaden Daniels has elite dual threat ability. The commanders did not have the best offensive line, and yes, they did invest in that in the offseason, but we're not too sure if they will have a solid offensive line. So I do see Jaden Daniels running quite a bit outside of the pockets to make plays just like he did in LSU and I do see that the commanders will be behind in a lot of games in which they'll probably play catch up and probably he will probably throw a lot of yards in garbage time to at least keep their team in the game and honestly if you ask me I think he may have a better Rookie quarterback, fantasy football season than Caleb Williams. Yes, that is a hot take. I understand Caleb Williams has Keenan Allen, DJ Moore, Roma Dunze, DeAndre Swift. I totally get that, but I don't think the Bears will be in a lot, back in the hole in a lot of games like the Commanders will be. So I do see Jaden Daniels just running a lot, throwing the ball a lot, quite a lot in this air raid type of style offense and being behind in a lot of games to try to keep up and keep their game, keep his team in the game. So it's my bold prediction. Jaden Daniels will have at least 4,000 total yards through the air and rushing yards. Now the 13 I will be talking about is the Philadelphia Eagles. My bold prediction is AJ Brown will have his first 1,500 plus receiving yard season, and he will probably have a first team all pro caliber season. If you look at A.J. Brown the past five seasons, he pretty much came very close to it the past two seasons with the Philadelphia Eagles. 2022, he had 1,496. 2023, 1,456. I think this is the year that A.J. Brown will, be, will break 1,500 receiving yards. Devontae Smith, and now they have Saquon Barkley. I think a lot of defenses will try to do their best to stop. You know, definitely A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, and Saquon Barkley, but I believe this is the season where A.J. Brown will go off. They have Kellen Moore as the offensive coordinator, and just by looking at Kellen Moore's um, history as an offensive coordinator, the wide receiver one pretty much gets the most attention in the passing game. Um 
And with AJ Brown being the wide receiver one on this team, I do believe he'll get a lot of attention in this offensive style with Kellen Moore. And this is the year that AJ Brown will get 1,500 receiving yards, has a solid season, and he can get into that first team all pro caliber season. And last but not least, CeeDee Lamb will lead the league in receptions and receiving yards and will end the season as wide receiver one. Yes, and no, that might be quite a bold take, but look at his productivity and workload in each season he's been in the NFL. His targets have increased each year, receptions have increased each year, receiving yards each year, and touchdowns each year. This may be a career kind of season for C.D. Lamb where I won't be surprised if he probably sees 200 targets, 150 receptions, 1,800 receiving yards, and probably about 15 touchdown catches. I mean, this is a season where I believe he's going to prove his point that he is the best wide receiver in the game. I know a lot of you are probably going to say Jefferson Jefferson is the best in the game. You're right. I definitely understand that. But I don't have much faith in Sam Darnold to give Justin Jefferson the production that he's probably wants to have. And I won't be surprised at some point later in the season, Sam Darnold gets benched for JJ McCarthy. And now there's a rookie quarterback. So I don't think Justin Jefferson will have the season that he will probably have this year. And I know Tyree kills definitely in their discussion, Devontae Adams, but Dak Prescott just seems to look at CD lamb's way in the regular season. Dak Prescott, tends to have explosive regular season games where he's probably averaging about maybe 250 to 300 passing yards a game in which a lot of them are going to see these lambs direction. Michael Gallup is with the Raiders, I believe. Now they have Brandon Cooks, Jalen Tolbert, but this is the career season that CD Lamb's going to have. This is my bold prediction. So if you play fantasy football, I think CeeDee Lamb is probably the wide receiver to have this season. And like I said, he might just have a career season heading into this fifth NFL season. Um, He's going to show that he deserves Justin Jefferson type money. Um, Can the Cowboys afford it? Who knows? But CeeDee Lamb is going to prove his point as the best wide receiver in 2024. Have a career breaking type season. Is it sustainable to have this kind of workload and production occur every single season? Of course not, but I think he may shatter his own personal records in 2024 with my bull prediction. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy the content, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe as I do make weekly football content every Mondays and Friday. Thank you so much and catch you next time.